Royal Navy continues to strengthen its capabilities to counter maritime threats. One of its most recent strategic moves is the adoption of the Naval Strike Missile NSM, an advanced anti-ship weapon developed by the Norwegian company Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace. The NSM is not only a temporary replacement for the aging Harpoon missile, but also a significant improvement in range, accuracy, and flexibility. In September 2025, the NSM reached a significant milestone with its first successful test launch from a British warship, HMS Somerset, during the AEG IR-25 exercise in Norway. The NSM was first developed by Kongsberg in the early 2000s as a successor to the Royal Norwegian Navy's Penguin missile. The initial serial production contract was signed in June 2007, and the missile is specifically designed to counter modern threats such as advanced warships and land targets. Unlike its predecessor, the NSM utilizes fifth-generation technology with a stealthy design that makes it difficult to detect by enemy radar. In 2012, the Royal Norwegian Navy made history with the launch of the first NSMs from the HNOMS Glimt, Skrild class, and HNOMS Rold Amundsen, Fritjof Nansen class. The test was a complete success, demonstrating their sea skimming capabilities and difficult to detect terminal maneuvers. In 2014, during the RIMPAC exercise, the frigate Fritjof Nansen accurately sank a simulated target, confirming the NSM's destructive power. Since then, the NSM has become widespread among NATO allies. In 2008, Poland ordered 50 units for inland coastal defense. The U.S. adopted it for its littoral combat ship, LCS, in 2018, with the first launch from the USS Gabriel Giffords in 2019. By 2025, more than 15 countries, including Germany, Canada, Australia, Spain, the Netherlands, Belgium, and Latvia, had selected the NSM, making it the largest NSM club in the world. Kongsberg's production was also increased, including new factories in Norway and Australia to support exports. The NSM is no longer a regional missile, but a global standard for long-range precision strike. The Royal Navy began considering the NSM in 2021 as the Harpoon Block 1C, 124 kilometers range, less stealthy, approached retirement. An interim replacement was needed for the 11 Type 23, Duke-class frigates, and Type 45 destroyers before future missiles such as the Future Cruise anti-ship weapon, FCASW, were ready in the 2030s for the Type 26 frigates. In November 2022, the UK Ministry of Defence announced a £350 million agreement with Norway for the Maritime Offensive Surface Strike MOS program. This strengthened bilateral ties with integration carried out by Babcock and BAE systems at UK shipyards, supported by Kongsberg engineers. The speed of adoption was remarkable. Just 12 months after business case approval, HMS Somerset received the first of eight NSMs in December 2023 at its Hakonsvern base in Norway. The Royal Navy immediately declared Initial Operating Capability IOC, allowing the ship to operate with the new weapons. The NSM is a fifth-generation missile that excels in stealth and adaptability. Weighing 400 kilograms and measuring 3.96 meters long, it carries a 125 kilograms, 500 pound class warhead with a programmable fuse for detonation above or below the target. Its operational range exceeds 185 kilometers, over 100 nautical miles, twice that of the Harpoon, and its subsonic speed, Mach 0.9, allows it to fly as low as 3 to 5 meters above the waves, avoiding enemy radar. Advanced navigation capabilities include GPS, an inertial navigation system, INS, and terrain reference navigation, TRN, to follow land slash sea contours. In the terminal phase, a dual-band imaging infrared, IIR seeker, automatically identifies targets, distinguishing warships from fishermen or civilian structures from military ones. 
The NSM is entirely passive, with no active radar, reducing its electronic signature. The bank-to-turn maneuver allows for random movements at the end of flight, evading defenses such as CIWS or surface-to-air missiles. It is flexible, launched from the ship's deck, 4 to 8 per pod, land-based launchers, or airborne via the Joint Strike Missile JSM variant. The NSM is also multi-role, attacking ships, coastal installations, or land targets, with terrain-following climb-slash-descend capabilities. Its airframe design and high thrust-to-weight ratio provide extreme maneuverability, while sea skimming has proven survivable against enemy air defenses. The implementation of the NSM has been a major success for the Royal Navy, restoring the anti-surface capability lost since the Harpoon's retirement in 2003. In December 2024, HMS Portland became the second ship to complete SAT trials in Norway carrying eight NSMs and ready for commissioning. The culmination was in September 2025. HMS Somerset launched the first NSM from a British ship during Ager 25 at Andoya Test Center. This launch, in collaboration with Norway and Poland, which fired from a land-based launcher, hit a simulated target with precision, demonstrating seamless integration. This success isn't just technical. The NSM enhances NATO interoperability. The UK is now aligned with allies like the US and Norway in the North Atlantic, countering Russian threats like Kilo-class submarines and Admiral Gorshkov frigates. In the Pacific, it supports joint operations with Australia. HMS Somerset's commanding officer, Commander Matt Milliard, called his team extremely proud of the test, which required months of preparation. The UK's NSM program director, Commander Matthew Cox, praised the speed. The UK-Norway partnership enabled the first installation within 12 months, unparalleled speed for a complex weapon. By June 2025, three ships were operational, with the full 11 planned for completion by 2026. This fills the gap to FCASW while increasing its destructive power. The NSM can strike Russian assets from beyond their defense range, crucial in the Arctic. The NSM has revolutionized the Royal Navy, from its innovative Norwegian history to its rapid and successful adoption. With its stealth and precision capabilities, it ensures the UK maintains its superiority at sea. As global threats increase, the NSM is more than just a missile. It is NATO's security guarantee. Its successful implementation ushers in a new era. The UK fleet is ready for anything, from hybrid conflict to open warfare. 